Hello. Last week we've got a jack integration added into Synfig. This is a part of the ongoing work on adding sound support. And uh, today I would like to demonstrate how it works. So this is uh, a special build of Synfig with a jack integration. Uh, you might notice the new button added here on the left. It have as uh, the same icon as uh, mm, animation it, um, editing mode button, but this is temporary. This is just because we haven't uh, other icon on hand. So, well, uh, I hope you bear with this for now. This button uh, enables the s synchronization with Jack, Jack Global Transport for currently open it document. Um, at the moment I have no Jack uh, server started, so if I will click on this button, uh, it will start the Jack server for me and uh, Synvik will use it. Uh, but uh, um, I prefer to start uh, the Jack server manually and just because uh, uh, I have uh, um, uh, to config often I would like to configure a particular sound card settings or I have different sound cards and uh, this button might file for you if you have not ja configured Jack properly. So let's go a different way for now and uh, launch uh, um, Jack server manually via QJack CTL. Here we have a configuration and uh, we can choose a sound card and let's start uh-huh well s something something is uh, hmm. uh, something is wrong here mm, let's try And um, well, I'm not sure what's uh, going on here. Okay, now let's quit and uh, launch again. Okay, no luck here, so let's try to uh, do that uh, directly in Synfig. So let's open an uh, animation file and uh, let's click. Well, <laughs> surprise from Synfig, it started fine and uh, well, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like uh, <laughs> for me it works better from Synfig. Okay, surprise. Uh, well, so now I have a simple animation. Uh, let's take a look at it. like this and now I'm going to add uh, a sound uh, so I'm going to syn synchronize with an external application which uses Jack uh, which let's launch uh, my favorite one it's Ardor uh, 
you know, like this. Mm -hmm. Create a new session. stuff I have a uh, quite a uh, I have a uh, quite a few space well where is Synfic uh, well uh, looks like I've lost Synfic huh well okay um, I have quite a few space on my desktop, so it will be a bit hard to demonstrate work with uh, several applications, but I will try to. Let's make it more compact, like this. Okay. So the idea of Jack Transport is to have uh, both timelines with in both applications syn synchronized. For now, when I move the cursor in Synfig window, nothing happens, and uh, nothing happens here as well. That's because Ardur uses the internal Jack Transport, and uh, now I would like to switch into global Jack Transport. So I need to click this button. And uh, hmm. uh huh. Now it works. As you can see, when uh, I move the time cursor in Synfig, the time cursor is also moved in Ardur window and uh, vice versa. When I move uh, cursor in Ardur, it uh, uh, moves in Synfig. And uh, also I can hit play button here or play button here. So they both are synchronized. Okay. Now we can add a sound into our door. Let's uh, let's add uh, a thunder sound, for example. And uh, uh, I think this one will be fine. Okay. Oh, it's a huge file. It's Wait while it imports. Okay. Okay, got it Im imported. So let's see. Let's make a thunder somewhere here like this and uh, let's hit play okay now let's make our animation a little bit longer so we can okay as you can see, this is uh, very nice that we have uh, both um, timelines synchronized. You can see the waveform of, uh, you can uh, see the particular time, and you can watch the animation and hear the sound.
Okay, I also have uh, a rain here. It will make our animation a little bit slower. Uh, rain. Hmm. What's wrong? I have had a rain. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh -huh. This way it will be more visible. So the rain starts, and uh, we can add uh, uh, rain sound, for example. Like this. Okay, it will take some time to import again. That's it. Okay. Oh uh, well. Let's also add uh, a little bit uh, of music uh, because what and car. It's um, would be nice to have any music in our animation. So let's uh, this one file should fit well. Okay. Move it up and uh, let's start the music somewhere after the thunderclap. Or, okay, this should work fine. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, all what I wanted to demonstrate for today. Uh, well, it <laughs> was a little bit... Um, a few adventures during this demonstration. But I hope you like it. Thank you and goodbye.